She has also been working in the field of capacity building, counseling, and stress management for women at the Nampum Probation Home and students at Kishore Nagar Boys Home. Your mic is muted. Welcome, ma'am, to the session. Over to you. Mami is joining in few seconds. Uh, a very warm uh, good morning to all of you present here. Uh, am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma good morning. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Prabhat, sir, for the wonderful introduction. And uh, I'd like to welcome all of you into the Amity family today once more and uh, you know without any uh, uh, you know uh, wasting any more time let me start introducing you to a course called uh, behavioral science and ethics actually here at amity we kind of uh, believe in a, you know value based education because we feel that at uh, amity uh, uh, you know to be a success in life and also to be someone who has satisfaction, you need to have education, which is both, both based on, you know, a knowledge of your technical skills and obviously, you know, uh, a whole lot of knowledge about how you can kind of uh, lead your life so that you are uh, a holistic success, not only a success in the, uh, you know, area of uh, uh, what do I call it? Not only in the area of uh, technical skills or knowledge, right? So uh, there's been a little uh, glitch and, uh, you know, the sharing option somehow is. Uh, uh, can you see my screen? Can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma okay. Okay. Yes, ma OK. So uh, when I change the screen, can you, uh, you know, kind of uh, look at it? When yeah. I'm screen is not changed yet. OK, yeah. Yes, so uh, has it changed now? Yes, ma'am. Better now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. yes, ma so uh, yeah, so uh, yeah. You know what we're going to talk about today in the next you know, uh, about an hour or 45 minutes is uh, a very very interesting subject called behavioral science. Now, when I talk about behavioral science, what is it that comes to mind first? I mean, what are the kind of words that come to your mind when I talk about, about behavioral science? Can someone just uh, uh, unmute and give me an answer? How to behave how about to be behave. science about behavior. Okay, science about behavior. Very good. So where do you think uh, in the whole scheme of things? You might think that, you know, behavior is something that you kind of grow up with, uh, you know. Ma'am, your mic is mute. Behavior is something like that I relate from psychology, I think. I'm your mic is muted. Excuse me, ma'am, you are on mute. Uh, 
Once you're not audible, please switch on your mic. You are muted. Ma'am, you are on mute. Yeah, am I audible now? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Fine. So uh, the thing is that uh, let's go carry on and see what behavioral sciences are uh, all about, right? And how it's going to help you in your, uh, 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 you know, future life or uh, when you are at the workplace. Okay. So uh, what is behavioral science? Now, the simplest definition of behavioral science is that it is the study of human behavior. Behavioral science is the science of predicting the future, and it is understanding how people have behaved in the past and will, you know, help us understand how people will behave in the future. Right now, uh, having said that, it is not only uh, a domain which is a field like one technical knowledge, right? When we talk about behavioral science, it has three domains that we look into. You have individual psychology, you have sociology, and you have a subject called anthropology. So what we do is we look at an individual's behavior in society vis-a-vis -vis how culture affects it. Right now, when we uh, talk about behavioral science, how or why it is important for you is basically because, you know, like uh, when you are a student, there is a certain kind of personality you grow up with. Right. And there are certain things that are accepted of you when you're a student. Once you get into the work life. That is what we at Amity aim at. That the, once you graduate from Amity, you are work ready, right? So you need to have a personality orientation which is going to help you be a success in your work life. So this course actually works as a springboard in which you know we uh, kind of train you and prepare you vis-a-vis -vis different sort of activities and obviously theory to get you work ready, right? And when we look at uh, behavioral science as a subject, we kind of look at it as to how we can, uh, you know, maximize our potential and be the best version of what we are or what we can be. Right. So here, first and foremost, we've been talking about behavioral science for so long. You might just, you know, want to ask that. OK, now if we want to, uh, you know, define behavior, what is behavior? Right. So behavior very simply is everything that a person does. Right. So it is something that can be observed. It, it is something that can be seen. It is something that can be measured as well, because that. That is how we can, you know, like when we measure a person's behavior in terms of positivity or negativity, we can kind of bring about a change. There is another aspect to behavior. It is just not only about the person, but if we go into, you know, Kurt Lewin's maxim of the field theory, he says that behavior is a function of both the person and the environment around the person, right? Can you exist in isolation from your environment? No, you can't do that because whether you like it or not, your environment is going to actually uh, uh, kind of make you behave in a certain way, right? See, if you have a pleasant environment, your behavior is naturally pleasant. If you have an environment which is, uh, 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 you know, a negative or an unpleasant environment, you are naturally, uh, you know, going to be irritable or uh, impatient or not feel really well about yourself. OK, so. It is not only you, but your behavior depends on your environment as well. OK, 
Now, like, like for example, uh, a person's personality or behavior might be very different when he is employed and doing really well in life. And it might become really, really, really very different when he's uh, unemployed, right? So the environment that he is in changes his behavior. So when we talk about the environment, it has to actually do with how you can, you know, orient yourself to uh, think as to, OK, even if the environment is not to my liking, how can I have a behavior pattern which is not unpleasant? Now, that is what behavioral science equips you to deal with, right? Uh, coming to uh, what causes behavior, right? Now, causes of a person's behavior are dependent on two facets. I'm sure all of you know. One facet is your inherited characteristics, something that you grow up with. That's your genetic makeup. That's what you get from your parents, right? And you don't have much control over what you inherit. The other part, which is the more interesting part, which we can work on, is something called the learned characteristics. Now, learned characteristics are something that we get from our environment. Now, let's see what the learned characteristics here are. Uh, the learned characteristics that we, you know, like go through are perception, values, attitudes, and personality. Right. So when we're talking about, uh, uh, you know, perception or values or attitudes or personality, this is all something that we do not, you know, uh, learn overnight. It is something that is a part of our socialization process and we grow up with our perceptions. We grow up with certain values. We grow up with certain attitudes depending on the environment that we live in. And that's what makes our personality. Now, this is not something like your genes or your inherited characteristics that they are. They can't ever be changed. Right. You can change your perception. You can change your values. You can change your attitudes and, you know, you can hone your personality. I won't say change your personality completely because that's something which is is you know, very, very difficult to do, but we can, you know, hone it or we can make it much better if we are lacking in certain characteristics, right? So uh, let's look at what perception means. Now, very simply, perception is just the way in which we, you know, regard, understand or interpret something, you know, or make a mental impression about something. Right. It is the result of the various senses that we have, our, our sense of touch, our sense of sight, our sense of uh, hearing and also a sense of feeling. Right. So, you know, a lot of times what happens, our behavior pattern is based on, you know, perceptions and these perceptions are not always, uh, you know, true. Right. So if we have a perception which may not be uh, 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 something which is uh, uh, true to life, then we may misinterpret a lot of things about our environment. So it's, it's really, really important for us to have a perception which is true to its form. Right. So uh, let's look at what are I mean, how do we come up with or what are the perceptual fallacies around us? Right now, coming to the next slide, uh, it's it's if you can see this slide, uh, what do you notice about it? There are two different, uh, you know, like kind of uh, figures that I have uh, uh, here. Uh, what do they show? Can someone, uh, Ma'am, you know, kind of volunteer to answer? Ma'am, they're arguing with their own point of view. Every single person has their own uh, views upon a thing or some uh, situation, depending upon their again perception. Okay, that's, that's, that's great. Different point of view. 
Can you uh, you know like kind of tell me? Now perception is the way we receive things by different modes. Okay. Yes, yes, I agree to that. But where in you know like when we're talking about behavioral science, what problem is uh, uh you know difference in perception going to cause? If you see this figure here, uh, there is a figure which is seen as nine from one side and six from the other side. Both people are right in their own ways, right? It's not that one person is wrong and the other person is right. So, what is the problem going to happen here? We can't Class understand. Some people argue in their own sense, but they both are right. They both can argue upon this, yes. but. Both okay. uh, uh, their uh, perception are really different, but they both are right. This is like different perception, having different perceptions, different thinking, different uh, point of view, different opinion. You can say. Yes, the clash of Moreover, we can say that like even though they are correct, they are stuck in the rigidity of their own perception. Exactly. Like it will make it hard to understand each other's point. Exactly. Now, this is what I was wanting to come to rigidity and flexibility, right? Now, when you get into the work sphere, right here, we are talking about this course preparing you to be a successful uh, person in your work arena, right? Now, what will happen? People who are working with you are going to have a very different perception about how that same work has to be done, right? Because they've grown up in a different environment. They, they come from different families. The way that they have been taught something is very different from yours. Now, that doesn't mean that there is something wrong in the way they want to do it. So when you're working in a team or when you're working with people, it's very, very, very important that you have a personality structure, which is, a, a, you know, a kind which is flexible. It is adaptable. You're able to, you know, perceive things from other other people's viewpoints as well. You, you're not rigid that, OK, my way is the right way and the other way is the wrong way. So this is a very, very important part in our personalities, which we often ignore, right? Because we believe in something being how it is. And we, you know, take it for granted that, OK, fine, that is the best way in which this can be done. So one part of behavioral science will deal with how you can, um, you know, kind of uh, look at your perception and improve it or, you know, like kind of uh, uh, make a change so that you can uh, take into consideration other people's opinions as well. OK, uh, now this another part as far as our personality is concerned, which makes our perceptions different from uh, each other is the type of personality we are. Right. Broadly speaking, in psychology, we have two broad kinds of personalities, which is the type A and the type B. Right. Now, if you again look at this figure, the type A personality is a personality which is a compulsive personality and it always wants to, you know, seek challenges. It wants to do things because that gives him or her satisfaction. Whereas the type B personality is the one that is laid back, right? It likes the status quo that it is in. So when, when whenever something comes, you know, uh, a, a new stimulation, uh, they're not really very keen to go and explore that. Now, we, we've seen people like that, right? Type A's are the ones who are the go-getters. They are the impatient people. They are the perfectionists. And type B are the ones who are like, OK, I will, you know, like, let me just go on with life and see uh, 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 as to how things uh, uh, turn out for me. Now. Ma'am, you are muted. Your mic is mute. Ma'am, your mic is mute. I'm you're on mute. Uh, I, I, I would just request people who are in the meeting. Ma'am, you are on mute. Uh, I think I've unmuted myself. Yes, Am I audible now? Yeah, yeah. So I just 
request i would just request all of you who are here not to touch any thing except just listen here right because if you look at any of the controls or do something like that we might have glitches like this right okay so can i carry on now yes mom i'm audible i can carry on yes yes, yes ma'am sure ma'am yes, yeah. thank you yeah ma'am you are audible uh, so like i was talking about the two personality uh, types uh, we are uh, you know like people who have to interact with people who are very different from us right and uh, the challenge again lies in us being in a position wherein we can uh, you know uh, kind of be flexible enough to look at or work with a person who is very different from us personality wise so that is one area that we are also going to cover in this right uh, another aspect which is core psychology is you know have you any of you heard about someone called sigmund freud yeah yes ma'am yes no ma'am okay no, yes ma'am no fine okay so maybe some of you have heard about him and some of you haven't heard about him but uh, when we do this course we're going to do uh, you know his theory of personality in detail and he is someone who talks about our personality being made up of you know three parts that we have inside our our जितना है दोनों के आज तक लगभग इस नहीं हम बोल देते हैं और कस्तूरी नाम से एक बार बात करें गुड मॉर्निंग सर कह रहे थे जितना है अभी आपके आए। मैम कहा चल गई students please wait there is a technical glitch i believe please wait for a moment okay okay sir i request all the students not to do any activity which is impacting the performance on the platform right please mute yourself everyone please mute yourself
like somebody is removing people from the group and muting people, right? Please don't do that. We are mature enough to attend a meeting, please. आपकी बात हो गई मैं से Uh, did I get out of this meeting? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I was just talking about is uh, it is is the PPT visible uh, now? Yes, ma'am. PPT is yes, visible yes, and yeah. audible. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So yes, ma'am. Yes, ma talking about uh, uh, yes, that is, uh, there's a hyperlink here of a personality. Test. Can you uh, kind of uh, video or mute my that? Can you access that? Oh, How can I access it? Mom is just screen sharing. We cannot access that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You are, are unable to access that. So uh, uh, basically, uh, and there is no way in which I can, you know, like copy and paste it for you. So, you know, like uh, you can just make send a it on note. WhatsApp. Sorry. Ma'am, you can send it on chat. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not part of that WhatsApp group. So what I'd like you to do anyway, we are, you know, we we are running late. So if you can just, you know, take a screenshot of this and access this personality test whenever you have the time to do it. Right, it's a short five okay, minutes personality test that you can take. It will give okay, you an overview about what it is that you are and wherein you need an yeah. improvement. Right. OK, so let's just carry yes. on with, you know, like something else, which is a very, very important part of behavioral science, and that is your attitude. OK, Excuse now me, what? Yeah. Ma'am, what the you were talking? Uh, like the test and all. I couldn't. Uh, can you take us? Okay. Can you take a screenshot of uh, this screen? Sure, ma'am. Mom, I cannot see yes, a screen. Then. You can't see a screen. 
uh, and you know like you you can the screen is someone, visible uh, yeah the screen is visible that is, is uh, visible. your problem beta ma'am someone just okay. made me and i cannot see it uh, i'm really sorry beta you can ask someone to share it for you it's just a link uh, that you can you know like access whenever and take the personality test and no worries right once you are part of the whole curriculum we'll be doing enough of all these I'm things i'm sharing this that was... image on the whatsapp group yeah yeah that, thank, thank you so much for doing that right now uh, let me just carry on with the next part of personality that or next part of behavioral science that we need to talk about and that is something Hello. Hello. Is there any name for him? Okay. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Please wait for a while. Still be joining again. Hello. Students are requested to have patience. Ma'am is joining back. Uh, students are also requested not to mess around with controls, right? <laughs> Because that is not going to help us in this whole process that we are going through, right? So, oh, ma'am, ma'am, I, ma I hope ma I'm audible. Yes, ma'am, ma'am. There is one problem, ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, some students are from state board, uh, state board, yeah. so so they. Are telling that they are having difficulty in understanding english so can you convey this lessons in hindi ma'am uh, i'm yeah, sorry yeah. but at amity our medium of communication is english yes ma'am okay. okay so uh, i uh, i would be speaking in uh, english if you want me to uh, you know use a little bit of hindi along with i can do that but uh, our medium of communication is english so yes, i would need to talk in english right but some students are facing problem in understanding english ma'am they are from state boards when they are saying in group okay fine uh, uh i'll try my please. best yes ma'am please yes, ma'am i'll try my best right yeah thank you ma'am uh very uh सो so, uh, जब हम इम्पोर्टेंस के बारे में बात करते हैं बिहेवियरल साइंस का ये हमारे लिए इसलिए इम्पोर्टेंट है क्योंकि हमको जब रियल वर्ल्ड uh, में इंटरेक्ट uh, करना होता है लोग से जब तक हम अपना बिहेवियर पैटर्न जो वो यू uh, नो you know, वो सिचुएशन नहीं डिमांड करता है वो हम अपना बिहेवियर अगर नहीं uh, करें तो uh, हमारे लिए डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है टू बी एबल टू यू नो अडेप्ट वेल इन दैट सिचुएशन राइट 
There's another part about behavioral science that you need to know, and that is why we are studying it. Is कि ये help करता है हमको कि हम अपना behavior कैसे change कर सकते हैं. अगर हम अपने आप को समझेंगे, हम self aware होंगे, तभी हम अपना behavior को change कर सकते हैं. Because तभी हमको पता चलेगा कि किस तरह का behavior कहाँ apply करता है, right? So उसके लिए we need to you know and make our behavior pattern understood to people humko ek habit banana hai apna behavior kis tarah ka you know project karna hai humko usko apne liye rewarding banana hai desirable banana hai aur easy bhi banana hai theek hai ab ek dusra aspect hai jahan you know behavioral science bahut importantly work karta hai and that aspect is something called emotional intelligence right have any of you heard about uh, uh, this this uh, word emotional intelligence no ma'am no yes okay. ma'am जैसे कि आई क्यू होता है इंटेलिजेंस क्वेश्चन होता है आई एम श्योर सब लोग इंटेलिजेंस क्वेश्चन के बारे में सुने होंगे इमोशनल क्वेश्चन भी होता है तो वही हम yes, आपको बोलने का कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि जैसे इंटेलिजेंस क्वेश्चन होता है वैसे ही एक एस्पेक्ट होता है जो हमारा इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस मेजर करता है इंटेलिजेंस क्वेश्चन आपका इंटेलिजेंस मेजर करता है इंटेलिजेंस क्या होता है आपका एनालिटिकल स्किल्स आपका यू नो टेक्निकल नॉलेज बट इमोशनल क्वेश्चन मेजर करता है कि आप जब भी किसी क्राइसिस सिचुएशन में है राइट right? yeah. जब आप इस तरह के सिचुएशन में हैं, विच यू आर अनएबल टू डील विद आप किस तरह से बहुत कामली एंड कूलली यू विल ओवरकम फ्रॉम दैट सिचुएशन राइट ऑल ऑफ अस फेस इश्यूज इन लाइफ एट ईच एंड एवरी मोमेंट विच आर बियॉन्ड आर कंट्रोल राइट नाउ वी कैन नॉट चेंज द सिचुएशन हम उस सिचुएशन को नहीं बदल सकते हैं हम क्या बदल सकते हैं हम अपना रिस्पॉन्स या हम अपना रिएक्शन टू दैट सिचुएशन बदल सकते हैं और वो करने के लिए हमको अपना इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस के ऊपर वर्क करना होगा बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ अस आर यू नो व्हेन वी गो थ्रू लाइफ वी डू नॉट रियलाइज कि जो इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस होता है वो ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है फॉर अस देन आर इंटेलिजेंस क्वेश्चन टू बिकम अ सक्सेस इन लाइफ ठीक है बिकॉज इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस आपका डील करता है विथ योर इंटरपर्सनल रिलेशनशिप्स हाउ वेल यू कैन गेट अलोंग विथ पीपल ऑल्सो हाउ हाउ वेल यू कैन मेक इनफॉर्म डिसीजन राइट नाउ ये बात हम नहीं बोल रहे हैं बट यू नो इट्स इट्स अ हाईली रिसर्च फैक्ट दैट ओनली अकेडमिकली ब्रिलियंट पीपल आर नॉट द वंस हु आर सक्सेसफुल इन देयर लाइफ right when you look at people like uh, you know mark zuckerberg steve jobs dhirubhai ambani these were not people who went to ivy league colleges ye wo log nahi the jo log you know 100% uh, uh, wale the as far as their uh, academic brilliance was concerned but all these people have one thing in common that is they have a very 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 high emotional intelligence राइट सो हार्वर्ड आई मीन ये बात इट्स नॉट कि बस बोलने के लिए बोला जा रहा है बट देव बीन लॉट ऑफ यू नो रिसर्च दैट्स बीन डन इन स्टैनफर्ड एंड हार्वर्ड एंड ऑल अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड विच से आप अगर सक्सेस ओवरऑल सक्सेस होना चाहते हैं लाइफ में तो आपका आई क्यू बस टेन परसेंट एट द मोस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट रिस्पॉन्सिबल है बाकी सब डिपेंड करता है आपका इमोशनल क्वेश्चन एंड ऑब्वियसली द सिचुएशन दैट यू आर इन एंड दिस वॉज बेस्ड ऑन यू नो अ स्टडी डन ऑन हार्वर्ड ग्रेजुएट of everything i mean law medicine teaching and it shows like a, it showed a negative or zero correlation between iq indicator that is aap entrance exam mein kaisa perform kiye hain and aapka subsequent career success right but there was a very 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 high correlation between their 
EQ, that is their intelligence quotient, and success in life, right? So again, getting your emotional intelligence uh, up is something which is a very uh, important part of behavioral uh, science, and that is something that we are going to be looking at, okay? Uh, and actually, your behavioral uh, science course is also going to orient you to become socially intelligent, which is another facet of emotional intelligence. Right? So, when we talk social intelligence, ke mein baat karte hai, what, what, what are the parameters for social intelligence? Aapka influence, that is how well you can persuade people. Aapka communication, that you can clearly talk about someone. Leadership quotient, how well you can manage change, conflict management, because that's a big thing. Conflicts arise basically because of what? Because of a difference in personality, a different in a difference in perception, right? Sure. Also building bonds because nurturing relationships is something which is very, very, very important in life. Then collaboration uh -huh. and cooperation between people uh -huh. and obviously working in a team. Because once you get into uh, the work life, working in teams is one of the prerequisites that you need to do, right? So this is actually in, you know, a little, little brief what we are going to be doing as far as behavioral science is concerned. And ethics. Ethics is something which is a part of, yes, behavioral science, but it is a whole vast separate area as well. Now, ethics say, aap log kya samajte hain? What do you understand by the term ethics? Um, Simple thing like, I'm going to be here, I'm going to be here, I'm ethics, but nobody follows it. A way of living life. Very good. Simply a way the of living life. The study of what is right, wrong in human behavior. The study okay. of what is right and wrong in human behavior. Very good. What else? Orkya? Moral values. Moral values. Actually, you've come up with the term moral. moral over here. Okay. Morals or ethics are uh, equal to that morals or ethics are a little different. Um, difference. Difference okay. Now let's look at Ma'am, once uh, again, what was the question? The question is are ethics and morals synonymous? Matlab, ethics or morals exactly the same cheese hote hai? Ya wo different hote hai? Um, there's a little bit different. Ma ethics the way we behave and morals are the lessons we learn. It's a mirror. Okay. Uh, ethics are the way we behave and morals are the lessons we learn. Okay, fine. What else? Mom, morality as something that uh, personal and nominative and ethics is something that uh, stands for goods, good and bad. Okay. Ma'am, moral, ma moral yes. refers to an individual's own principles. Regarding uh, what is right or wrong. Okay. And ethics is? Ma'am, we... Ma ethics are the uh, way of living life and the morals are the lessons we learn throughout our life is called morals. Okay. Huh? Uh, here, so we... Yeah, so uh, uh, let's let's like carry on. I, I, I am glad that most of you have a good understanding of ethics and morals. Now, morals are like universal, the universal, uh, uh, you know, good or bad. Remember moral values class that we, uh, you know, started off school with and ethics are the rules of conduct in various different societies, right? So morals are universal. All across the world, you, you, you have morals which say that lying is wrong and speaking the truth is right. And ethics are, societies differ in the way they kind of uh, tell people uh, how uh, to behave. Different uh, 
organizations might have different ethics different uh, countries have uh, different ethics or ethics are just a you know societal or a way in which a group or a culture behaves but obviously ethics are based on morality right no group culture or organization will say that no uh, you know uh, doing something wrong is right but actually so, in other, reality morals are not followed uh, a lot of times and that is where ethics come into the picture because ethics hold you responsible for morality okay so ethics actually represent the moral code that guides a person's choices and behaviors throughout life right and the idea of a moral code extends beyond you know the individual like i said it includes morally what is right or wrong but when we are talking about ethics it covers when you are in a certain say organization or a certain uh, 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 institute each institute or organization has its own set of rules and regulations which is the ethics of that organization or institute and if you are a part of that aapka morals jo bhi ho aapko wo ethics follow karna zaruri hota hai ठीक है एंड ये वर्ड एथिक्स कहां से आया है ये ग्रीक वर्ड इथोस से आया है व्हिच मींस कस्टम और हैबिट और कैरेक्टर और डिस्पोजिशन राइट नाउ एथिक्स हमको कैसे हेल्प करता है लाइफ में फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट ऑब्वियसली इट गिव्स अस अ सॉर्ट ऑफ अ पाथ एक रास्ता दिखाता है कि हम एक अच्छा लाइफ कैसे लीड कर सके हमारा राइट्स एंड रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज बताता है uh, you know hamara language of right and wrong uh, morality ke according sikhata hai and humko moral decisions lene mein help karta hai you know whether it is something which is right or something which is wrong and ethics aata kahan se kya hum apne aap apne ethics banate hain can i make ethics for myself ya ethics kahin se aata hai hum sikhaya jata hai related to morality i think yeah so well, hamara religion hamara philosophy hamara sacred books like our you know like say our ramayan or the bhagavad gita or the quran the bible ye sab kya humko sikhata hai humko morality ke basis par ethics ki hum kis tarah se apna life lead kare to an extent that is how or what it shows us about right so ethics actually is a sub a uh, uh, part of uh the morality now yes, ethical issues ke bare mein agar hum baat kare to basic ethical issues abhi hamare life mein kya hai sabse bada ethical issue just now in 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 our life is what ai and the cyber security very good what else why why is cyber security such a such a big ethical uh, ethical issue load the social media now yes very good that's a, that's a very 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 good example uh, that you've given me i'm sorry i can't get your name the fact that some people want to play truant and wo kisi ko mute kar dete hain ya kisi ko group ke bahar nikal dete hain ya jo bhi karte hain to ye kya dikhata hai ye us insaan ka ethics dikhata hai ki kitna uh, you know like मोर मोरालिटी कितना कम इम्पोर्टेंट है वो इंसान के लिए कि दे कैन कॉज यू नो लाइक इश्यूज और प्रॉब्लम्स फॉर अदर पीपल सो प्रैक्टिकली व्हेन वी यू नो लाइक डील विद सो मेनी डिफरेंट पीपल इन वर्क्स वर्कफेयर और इन एन इंस्टीट्यूट पीपल कम अप विद देयर ओन स्पेसिफिक मोरालिटी एंड एथिक्स ठीक है तो ये बात भी एक चीज है जो हम लोग को हमेशा यू नो emotionally intelligent ho kar ke deal karna hota hai right if kisi ka ethics are very very diluted 
is a highly unethical person and I need to work or I need to be around that person, how am I going to deal with it? Right? So therein ethics comes into purview and we log apna agar values clarification karenge aur apna personal ethics ke bare mein uh, baat karenge then we are going to be able to look at uh, how we can help you know overall society to overcome all these ethical issues uh, now here when you talk about code of ethics why it is important in the workplaces because sabse pehle ethics ka basis integrity hota hai Right, हमे honesty and clear communication workplace में करना चाहिए and उसके लिए हम कैसे how can I become uh, a person with integrity by only practice, right? So the next three or four years in your life, if you can practice integrity, you will be someone who can be an ethical person in the workplace. Teamwork, it leads to good teamwork, objectivity, right? confidentiality because one very very important part of ethics is confidentiality and obviously all this is going to lead to personal growth okay so here in in a nutshell on in this ppt uh, i would like to you know like using this ppt sum up what behavioral science is all about so it's basically about your personality with between your ethics your values, your morals, and your attitude, right? So these are all things that we need to, uh, you know, kind of look at when we are looking at, uh, say, improving or adapting our behavior pattern to fit a workplace or the corporate sector wherein we can be successful. And for that, what you need to do is be first and foremost aware of yourself right and this course in behavioral science is going to give you that opportunity wherein you can discover yourself improve or increase your self awareness and become the best version of what you can be right so i'd like to just end by a quote from socrates uh, who says that the unaware life is not worth living so what does that mean that just means ki hum log ko uh, effort karke apne aap ke bare mein jitna zyada jaan sake janna chahiye and accordingly behave karna chahiye okay so uh, you know that is it that uh, is what i needed to talk to all of you about and uh, so you know i'll end with this Prabhat sir, if you are there in the group. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, all of you. I'll just. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Um, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. That test you have given uh, out on the screen. So. Thank you, ma'am. Students, uh, there is another session from 11.30, right? That is on cyber law. So please be in the group. There is a 10 minute biological break and then we we'll... Okay, sir. Okay, sir.
Sir, should we leave this meeting? You are requested not to leave because in 10 minutes time we will be starting the next session. That is on cyber law. OK, sir. OK, welcome. Thank you. Thank you.